Hi there, I'm Java Jim with First Line Equipment, and today we have in front of us a stainless steel Nuri heat exchange espresso machine with olive wood panels. And what are we going to show you today? It's fairly easy to drain the boiler. This is where the water is in the bottom half of the boiler and steam in the top half. And why would you want to drain it? Well, the easy reason is if you're putting the machine in storage and it's going to hit cold weather or for shipping it. But the second reason is for descaling. We can drain the water out of the boiler first using this method, putting in the scaling solution. Okay, once you remove the tank and there's a, a gasket that holds it and you put the scaling solution, refill the boiler with the descaling solution, it has an automatic refill, and then drain the solution, and then fill with water, and then drain that. So there is a process for that, so it kind of makes it easier. Uh, the reason you need to do it this way also is there is no hot water wand. There's a lot of power for steam, though. So when starting this process, you do want to take out the water tank and make sure that there's no water in the tank or take out the water tank. And to get to the drain hose, okay, we would have to remove the drip tray, okay. There is a screw here, but you're not touching this screw. The drain valve here is what's going to open it up to drain the boiler. And at first, when I saw that valve, when the machines just came in, I thought it was actually for plumbing, to be honest with you. And then I emailed Antonio at Nuri Coffee, and he's like, no, that's for the drain. I'm like, whoa, nice feature. And I'm like, okay, where are you draining to? Because I don't see the hose. And where is it at? It's hidden right behind this panel right here. To get that panel off, okay, again, take out the water tank, unplug the machine. We have a power adapter there. And then uh, you'll turn the machine on its back, preferably a cloth or a clean surface. And once you get the machine on its backside, becomes fairly simple, 2.5 sized metric Allen key, and then just take out the two middle screws. And you'll see that that, that lower panel gets loose. Take those out. And there's a, a vent here for the uh, boiler. And then this panel will slide out and here's your drain hose right there and we're going to open the valve and water will start coming out and the boiler is being drained this machine sold we tested it with water we want to make sure everything's running right there's no leaks now for shipping we are going to drain the boiler we are going to drain the tank we'll get the tank back in place Once that completes, you will put the machine on its backside, okay, and the two Allen key screws will get in there. And a nice another little feature here is there is a magnet right here. So, oop, ouch. Basically, there's a plate right here, a steel plate, and that basically what happens is it keeps in, okay, the drip tray into the machine, which is another nice feature. Okay, and this is going to take a while here because it's, there is no high pressure. We, we actually like to do this when the machine's cold. We don't want really hot water coming out of this hose here. You can, but we prefer that you don't. Okay, pretty simple how to do it. Pretty simple actually to get it back. I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, please ask down below or ask right on our website. We have a Q&A tab on the machine page to ask your questions. We prefer it there. Like this, it's all in one place and everybody can see it. Thank you for watching again. Java Jim with First Line Equipment. Follow us on all our social media channel and always give us a thumbs up. And as I always say, coffee first, everything else second. Take care.